After almost one year living and traveling full time on our sailboat, it's about time to spend a month in a marina to get some boat work done. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Starting the day two with the project number two. Yeah, today is a little bit rainy, so we're gonna do some stuff inside the boat. There is one thing inside that we can do today that is something that we've been hiding from you for a little while. Because we, we didn't know how to fix this while sailing. sailing. <laughs> yeah, because we needed to stop, otherwise we're gonna be without an engine until we fix the problem. The problem is a small leak. That brown water is a little bit of salt water with a little bit of rust. I don't know if you remember, but like a year ago we did the exhaust line that goes all the way to the back of the boat and we needed to do some stainless steel pieces like shoulders and stuff. And one of these is giving us trouble. That's the main thing. Anything you do on a boat, you need to, you know, create a mess. <laughs> it's a, it's a, like a puzzle. <laughs> I believe what happened is one of the welds from this part somehow got corroded so there's a little leak of salt water so we need to take this apart and okay. that means without this we have no engine for a little while because we need to send to a welder to fix that it's gonna be tricky as it's all glued with sikaflex we can do this one step at a time baby steps the first thing is to open up this and see what's going on inside Comes gonna be a lot of water. We officially have a lot of salt water on our bilge. Problem is this weld right here. We added some epoxy, so it's like a cold weld, just to try to solve the problem, but it didn't stop. As you can tell, somehow it's leaking from the oh this epoxy didn't work at all. There is no good bound. Inside is really good. And maybe the water lock there is also a little tiny dot. A lot of water. As you can see, we have a dot of rust here. So that's probably like a weld that failed. And that's the proof that two little tiny dots can make a mess. That's a win. At least we got to disassemble it today. Now the next step is to fix everything and then we put all back together again. It's gonna be a lot of work this month, you guys. I'm gonna have fun. Part of sailing is fixing the boat for sure. <laughs> and now we can see the rust trail. So today we were invited to come for a ride with a, a subscriber. So here we are in a 64 foot journal. It's huge! That's just so cool. Today we took a day off. Not the day, but a few hours of the day off. Thanks so much for better. I don't know. Come with me, we have a project today. 
good editing. Yeah, hope it's gonna edit a little bit. And I'm gonna work on something else. We've been working on this for a long time already. Remember the quadrant that broke? Yeah, the reason why it broke, you know, the autopilot. We're gonna try to work on a solution for a long term. We already brought a welder here, another welder, to check the quadrant, and he says the quadrant is fine. The problem here is the support for the autopilot. So now that the quadrant is really strong, the support for the autopilot on the quadrant is really strong, this is not giving any trouble. The problem now is that the bulkhead is now cracking, it's like you can tell that's moving and that's not good so what we're gonna do is you're gonna unassemble the autopilot and we're gonna create a support a metal support a steel support that's gonna be really really strong and then we have no weak link on the system so the first step is to take this apart first step check so the autopilot's off now I need to take the wire for the quadrant and then we can take the quadrant out all disassemble. Now all we need to do is to take out the quadrant. That's it. I managed to take it out. And the reason that I took this out is actually not to fix the quadrant, but to fix the problem of taking out. Because if we have any trouble and we need to take the quadrant out, I want it to be easy. And the last time we reinforce the quadrant, we fill up this entire part with a thick aluminum plate. And now it's so hard because the the space I have to work is so small that I cannot take this out easily. I either need to open up a little bit more this hole or we want to create a special tool to make it easier for us to take the quadrant out if necessary. This time I want to do the solution from beginning to end in a proper way so this is part of the solution. So one more thing that we want to do while we took the quadrant out is something that we actually want to do since we bought this boat. Our wire, our line from the quadrant to the steering wheel is made out of stainless steel and that's all good, that's how we, a lot of people have, but our blocks that leads this line to the cockpit are made out of aluminum and the friction between aluminum and stainless steel can create problems in the future because you keep chafing and chafing and it's gonna ruin the block. So we're gonna replace for Spectra. This is really, really strong. This is probably stronger than the stainless steel we have. It's a eight millimeters Spectra line. I want to take this end parts off because I'm gonna send to the welder so we can have a spare one. If one day this breaks, we still have the old one. Why is never as simple as it seems so the end of the wire won't go through the block? One out of four, we decide that we want to take this out as we can clean. The problem is that this is the easiest one out of four. I'm not gonna show you every single one because you're gonna get tired of seeing me do boat yoga. We lost the washer on this part. Yeah. Everything was going perfect until of course, in the last piece, just slide down. I'm gonna go through the engine. I'm gonna try to get it from here. It's there, but I can't. Yay! The last piece. So now I managed to take all the blocks off. I'm really tired. It's time to go out for dinner with friends. <laughs> you know, we have social life also, <laughs> pretty good. This is just impressive. Every time we open up something from this boat, we get just impressive. This is a 30 years old block. So this goes inside and then comes these little rollers around. This one is the best one. I think in the long term we want to have all regular blocks because I can replace this anytime, anywhere. It's going to be much easier to replace any part of the system. For now, at least I'm going to clean the whole thing and then we decide what to do. So while Duca keep cleaning the blocks and waiting for the welder that's coming, supposedly, I'm going to go to the supermarket. I got a car from our friends and I'm going to discover where is the supermarket and where is the store to buy brushes and rollers and sandpapers and everything because it's going to be painting job this week. Soon, yeah. We, we we're just waiting for the weather to get a little bit better. Today's already a little bit yeah, more you sunny, can see you there can tell by sun. my face. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of painting jobs to do. How it's going there? Pretty good. This is just a therapeutic <laughs> job. You just like keep doing it slow, it's slow. See you. Have fun. You too.
first stop. So that's it. The first of five is done. Check this out. Let's keep going. Step one done. Now let's go to the supermarket. I forgot to film me in the supermarket, but you don't need to see all these. Three out of five done, another two to go, but Robert needs my help. <laughs> they came by bike. Doc is gonna take Aline's bike, Aline is gonna take the car, and I'm gonna take care of the food. Right in time, it's raining now. I bought some things by internet and now I just went for some meat and fruit and vegetables because all these I ordered online. So I got the tip from a friend that lives here for three years already. So I borrowed their car and went to the place while they were working by bicycle. <laughs> so that's it. You want to see what I bought? So it was all the food plus. We have good news. They said they're going to give us the bags in the two box and the whole thing ah. as a gift. I was just on the phone with uh, the company that's gonna do some fixings on our Bimini because I don't know if you've noticed but our Bimini is good for sun but it's a small Bimini so we're gonna do some extensions to the side to the back and now it's gonna be like a dry cockpit that's the idea and, and, and everyone in the entire country anytime we talk about you know covers and all this uh, exterior canvas. canvas they always talk about Tadlock and Tadlock is just the supposedly best the Brazil. best in Brazil and we're like no we're gonna hold that until we get to the place where we are right now Braqui because they are right they live right here they use good quality materials like the line never fades and the main thing is that in Brazil usually no one uses good material because it costs a lot because it needs to come from the US pay a lot of taxes on it and it's really expensive and they decide that they want to use good materials and we do agree with that yeah we, we That's you, you know us already you know that we do it once do it right I'm doing well. This is gonna work. Ooh, I love this one. Let's work. Of course, I have good and bad news. Good news is all the blocks are really, really good. Bad news is so the way this works, it's basically we have a support and we have the blocks and we have little spacers in between, just like this one, nylon spacers, so the block won't hit the support. The spacer on this one is way too thin. Bad news is we need somehow custom make new spacers. But good news is. It's gonna fix the problem. And also, the other bad news is I have no idea where is the other spacer because this is the support that goes on the hull of the boat. So there is one spacer here and one here because the hull of the boat is uh, carbon steel and this is stainless steel. So there is like a nylon spacer in between. As we are working with a welder here already, this is really simple to be done. So now I'm gonna put in place two of the four because the other two I need some fixings. I still didn't find any space to put food because we have a lot of things around. We have some exhaust system here, we have some bags on the floor, some food on the couch. Back to the board yard. <laughs> That's one out of four. We have good news. It's been a long time we say that our solar panels array is not done, that we don't have enough panels yet because we do have 600 watts. But we've been telling you that one day we're gonna have another two panels on the Bimini and they just arrived. They're just. They have arrived. <laughs> there are two panels of 220 watts each. So that means we're gonna have a total of 1040 watts. That's gonna be just awesome. I can't wait. So we need to pick it up. By the way, there's something else we're gonna do now. We're gonna get the solar panels, but also we're gonna go to a neighbor to have lunch. He's gonna cook a huge fish that he caught yesterday and he invited us over. Lunch is gonna be there today. 
cada rolamento, eu abri um por um. Mestre, The other thing we were talking about actually arrived. That's good and bad news because we really need the solar panels, but we also are really curious to check this thing out. Let's open it up. We bought a folding bicycle. We just bought use it online. Love it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> First we need to learn how to mount this. That's just so cool. After a hard night, it was... Can you hear the noise? Yeah, but we cannot complain. We are really safe in the marine. There is like a cyclone outside. A lot of people in Anchorage. We are actually really good here, but the noise is just like... <laughs> <laughs> just all night long, I'm like so tired. But it's all good. The boat survived. No line broke. So now time to wash some clothes. I'm okay. gonna get a ride. It's a nice day actually. Sunny, a little bit chilly. Oh, it's good. great. The happiness of someone that lives in a boat is finding a place to wash clothes. So, here I go. What I'm doing here is I'm washing by hand the lines because we were using them for too long so they kind, they kind of need a special treat. This was supposed to be this wide and it's like this. And that's why I'm washing this before putting this into the machine. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Doc is in the boat with the guys that are gonna weld things on our boat and I needed to come walking to the boat. It's quite a walk but it's good to exercise a little bit. <laughs> so one of the problems when we replace the block here, the shackle on the proper block that's this one wouldn't go inside of the ring because the ring was too small so we used a smaller block. So now we just wear a bigger ring and we even put backwards so we gain some space from this block. I think it's gonna be much better now. So let's try this in place and see if it works. Good news is we have plenty of space of course the boom is gonna be a little bit lower when we sail but we still have this much that we can go down and this much that we can go down so this is gonna be good and now we are using a bigger block and that's much better one last project yeah. we just added these two bars to the bimini and the reason for that is because this needs to be really tight and in order to do that we want to do the same thing as we have here you know with lines but if we do that on this bar the tenants is that the line brings this end down and creates a dip. So what we want to do is to extend all the way to here and then tie it here. And in this way, this will, will guarantee that this is, you know, ha has a slope down. And the reason for that is because we are going to add two solar panels, flexible panels, one here, one on the other side. And then we need this really, really tight and it's going to be much, much better. We're fixing, you know, little details on the Bimini that we had on the first time we did it. And also we're gonna add a little bit of canvas here so we can hide from the sun because a lot of times 
the cockpit has sun coming from the side so we're gonna have like this much canvas that we're gonna hang here and we can always you know hang here if we want to close even more and it's gonna also protect us from the rain because a lot of times this bimini is so small that the rain comes to the side if it's raining a lot we get wet all the time so we're gonna have covers on the side and also on the back to make sure when we have like wind coming from the back we won't have you know rain on the steering wheel little by little we are improving the bimini <laughs> yeah the thing is when you build something that you never use it before you think you know what you want and yeah. to be honest after a while sailing you get to know so much better the boat and we are just fixing the little tiny details because we want to get this perfect because from now on it's like definitive we want to sail for a long time using what we have painting day has arrived it's all set we're gonna need to paint this part here on the floor that's gonna be a shower we are gonna paint here. I love that we are in a marina that things happen. Seems like things are moving really fast here. It's funny because when you stay two years on the same marina, you start becoming part of the thing. So people that help you, they're like, no, nah, you have time, you're not leaving any time. So things take a long time. So when you have two, 30 days, yeah, <laughs> we have exactly 30 days to live here. That means things happen because you, you know, you hire the welder and you say, if you don't finish by 30 days, I, won't, I cannot do it. You either do it in 30 days or you don't. So he fixed this, the block that was giving us trouble for the steering cable because it was bending and touching metal with metal and shaping here. You can tell by the mark. The spacer was too thin. Now we did bigger spacers and check this out. Rolling finally. <laughs> Perfectly. So these are the new engines for the steering cable. So we have spare parts. It's going to be really good. So it's time for some painting. Ready? Not really, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta <laughs> do. We are also gonna paint this little thing. It's already done. You just need to paint and put in place. Do you like going back in time? No. In a boatyard, in a marina? Not really. It's so comfortable here. I don't feel like I'm in a boatyard. I really enjoy this place. Yeah, it's true. And it's easier to work when you have, you know... Space. Space and you can do the mixing of the paintings outside of the boat it's just on the boat moving it would be a mess half an hour later packed some bags and we headed west thought that it might be the best thing for us i was thinking about me and all the things that you leave behind family and a peace of mind and i i, I got you i am gonna love you till the stars go out shelter up above you till they all fall Check. As we have sun, we are gonna check any spot of rust that we have outside. Yeah, there is one spot in our boat that we need to keep our eyes open always for rust because it's really tricky to paint. I mean, when they paint the boat, they did on the spray gun. So these little round spots on the tow rail are really tricky to paint with the spray gun and some of them are rusting a little bit. It's time to go all the way around the boat and check if there's any rust spot because it's really sunny out. Let's go. First one. And actually, this was the main reason we painted the tow rail white, so we can keep a closer look and we can and redo the job. It's easier to maintain because how can we copy the orange all the time? Yeah. Rust converter. Now Duke is cleaning the 
acid with thinner and then it's gonna be ready for painting second coat of paint While we wait the paint to dry, I'm gonna try the bike for the first time. Yeah, it's exciting. That's it, we're ready. Can I take at least to the other side yeah. of the gate? Just to guarantee you, if Hubera tries this first time on the dock, she's gonna end up on the water. Oh, the kid's doing really well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we've been dreaming on buying a foldable bike for a long, long time, but we never found the one we want. And the one we want, that's not actually this one. We tried to get sponsored by the company, but they never answered. So we're like, no, we cannot wait anymore. We're just gonna buy online cheap ones. Use it. We found cheap, use it, but really good actually. It's almost new. And we actually found yesterday a second one. By next week, we're gonna have actually two bikes. I think the bike is gonna make a huge difference when we go to some islands. For example, Ilabella that we've been like two months ago. If we had a bike, we could go to so many other places that we didn't go because we had no means of going. Oh, check this out. Someone's enjoying. You know what? I love it. I think it's better than my former bike. You like, you like the gift that you gave yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I ride a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> no, I love, love it. it. Yeah, I just feel like going far now. And this one also have gears, so I can't wait to try this going farther, going to the stores and supermarket. I can't wait to have mine as well. It's tiny. It somehow is going to fit in on the boat, I hope. <laughs> it's of course going to be like a huge thing for the boat, but <laughs> sometimes you got to do what you got to do. At least now we can, we have a car. I mean, we have a house, that's the boat. We have the car, that's the dinghy, and we have the motorcycle, that's the yeah. bike. That's good. Yoo -hoo. Hmm. I think we need to go back. Sorry. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs>